Assalamu alaikum beautiful people welcome back to another tutorial in that tutorial we are just gonna learning something special adobe illustrator typography effect so in that class you just gonna learn how to make this type of typography and how to make this type of blend option in a easily in just some few clicks so what are you waiting for let's do that very first we have to take a page uh, take a new page and you have to resize your page because uh, if you want to be resize your page so you can resize it just resize your page and just typography you can use if what your typography you need so i say good day coming so then we have to take a ellipse tool just press the shift and just uh, take a perfect shape so if you press the shape it, it will be give you a perfect shape then uh, go to the pencil tools and uh, when you just like uh, go to the pencil tools you just uh, cut down in curve line just curve line okay just waiting for the perfect shape because you know what if you invest more time so design will be more awesome so then another and then go to pathfinder option control sheet f9 or you can go to find some windows and in here uh, so you get the pathfinder the pathfinders and uh, go to the, the uh, divide option just click the divide and then press the ungroup so if what happened it will be when it will be ungroup it will be give you the perfect and better result and uh, about this font you know this is the font i use that's the font name is abstract groovy so you can download the abstract groovy on any kind of free font website that's really completely free you can download it so now times to cut this okay so that's it okay then you just put this good and you see that in here we have three lines for uh, more understand i just uh, recolor it so you will understand that so we have three parts so you see this we have three parts in here so we can uh, you don't need to color it because uh, i just color it for uh, for your understanding that and you don't have to color that in here we just put it uh, this good in a part one and days in part two and coming in three so we have to make a typography in that shape area so if you think how to do that you say it might be very uh, tough to do that but it's not like this it's really simple way just uh, press the create outline in here so very fast your background this is the background part this is the background part and that's the typography part so remember that this typography part will be behind these are the layer of the main object so this and we have this part and that's the typography part remember so this is the typography part clear then arrange send to back you have to make this a typography in back so then just select the upper layer and then select the good your typography then go to object and uh, envelope distort and uh, make with top object so when we just make with top object it will be cut down it's a really same and uh, perfect way as object that's clear so remember that so if you very first just write where create outline so you have to create outline your typography so then just remember if you do like that if you select this object if your green object in a behind the typography it's not work so don't always follow the rule so a very first you have to this uh, typography layer in a back the main object back the main object so this how just select it and then select the main top object then go to object envelope distort and make with top object so this is very simple way and like this just create outline and uh, it's a this typography need to send to back and then select it and just uh, select the typography and object envelope distort and make with top object so you see this this is really easier way and after done just we have to expand it or go to object and then expand and uh, just expand it so you see this we have a perfect typography shapes in a ellipse area 
so then make it group so if you group it it will be design will be easier just make a copy for resave it and then just control c control f front copy control c control f then just make it small and then just color it just uh, color it to red and arrange to send to back i just uh, make a background in here and this will be something orange color okay this is pretty much good and uh, we are ready to done we have to do it's a blend it so how to do that just select both just select both just go to object and then when you just go to object then you get a blend option in here so we have two options you see this is the make and that's the blend option so very fast you have to do the, go to the blend option so when you just go the blend option so in here you will see this smooth color specified specified step and a specified distance so we choose the specified step and then we go uh, we just put uh, this uh, blending option is a 500 so how to do that so if it have a 500 layer so this look cool and make it 3d effect and then orientation will be like this in this area then press the ok so done and then you have to go select all of them then go to object then we have to do this uh, blend option and make so very fast we do blend option now we are working on the make so when you are just working on the make so it give you a great and beautiful result you remember we make this copy before uh, starting work so just put it on upper area and just uh, make this glow yellow so it's look good it's really, really easier so you can make a background so you can take a red triangle and you can make this color like this so it's really simple and you if you need any put any grunge in here so you can put it a grunge So finally we are done and thank you so much for your support and if you want to know uh, if you want to learn uh, adobe illustrator adobe photoshop or adobe animates and many more so you can subscribe our channel and i can promise one thing if you subscribe this channel that's with worth you and uh, as as always support expert lava expert and we stay with us thank you so much if you have any confusion comment down below thank you so much take care of yourself thank you